So there it is. Christmas Eve night, all ready for the morning. Kids are all in bed. Fill up the tree. Stockings are all filled, ready to go. Trying to do this one handed. Hey guys, Matt here, Wrecked Brewery. Happy Over Wednesday. Uh, on a Thursday. I was too busy yesterday just doing last minute Christmas stuff. And, uh, well, it's kind of the same today, but I wanted to get something out because I promised Dennis this last week and I just didn't have time. Uh, this is the Scotch Ale that we brewed. Um, if you can see that, it's a real nice dark mahogany color. It's pretty clear. Um, it's been in the keg for a couple of weeks now. Uh, we're just doing this sort of set it and forget it method um, for carving because it needed to age anyway. Um, it was in the primary for a long time. I had it in there for three, almost three weeks, almost a month, I think. It's, it was in there for a while. Cold crashed it, uh, forgot about it sort of for a week when I cold crashed it. Um, so here it is here. You know, we brewed this back in the end of October. It would have been like the 25th or 26th or something. It would have been right before I went to Disney. So we're, we're almost two months in with this beer. And uh, I'm really interested to see. This is the first pint that I pulled off of it. So let's see how it's come out. Hmm. It's got that nice um, sweet aroma to it. Sweet malty aroma to it. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get a taste. Cheers. Man, that is good. I don't think we put a, a special bee in this, but it kind of tastes like there's some of that in there. It's got a real, real nice sweetness to it. <clears throat> Very malty. Not too much, though. It's not cloying. Um, we can definitely taste all malt. Very, very little hops, if any, uh, are, are uh, noticeable here. All right, so I had to I had to pull out my notes here because uh, it would have drove me crazy. Which I couldn't remember exactly what to put in here. There's a lot of different malts in this, um, so it's actually primarily uh, in my case uh, Great Western Pale Malt is what I used. We both used a different base malt intentionally just to see the difference for when we share these. Um, but other than that, there's some Crystal Sixty in here. There's some Munich malt, some Cara aroma, and just a touch of roasted barley uh, to make up the malt bill. Uh, hops in this was just all EKG, a fair amount just to cut down on some of that sweetness to make it not cloying. Um, and we ended up using the Omega Scottish Ale, the OYL uh, 15. And this has turned out to be a really nice beer. I, I'm going to have to try to uh, hang on to this for a while. It's a, it's a strong beer. I think it came out to, um, let's see here, so it was a 1080 to 1012. So it's probably... It's probably somewhere in the 10% range, maybe higher. Um, can't really taste that at all. It doesn't have that heat to it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a really nice, nice winter warmer sort of sipper beer, which is exactly what we were, I think, going for this. Dennis, I would love to see what your first tasting is on yours, if you're going to cam up for it. Um, this is turning out real good. And I, you know, I want to let it age for a little bit longer, probably another couple weeks before I think about packaging it and sending it. Um, but we'll, we'll get to enjoy these together over the winter. Uh, great beer for that. Um, so that's, I mean, that's really all I had. It's a real quick one this week. It's funny as it's been very brizzy here in the rec brewery, sort of uh, slash Morris household uh, with Christmas time and everything. And, you know, um, just getting some last minute things together here in the house before uh, the kids wake up in the morning. And, uh, you know, Santa Claus is coming tonight to drop off some more things for them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it should be, should be fun. Uh, got the, you know, got the grandkids over, got the family over, everybody's sleeping over. That way we can make sure that first thing in the morning, they're here already and ready to go. Well, anyway, with that, guys, I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas. Uh, Happy New Year if I don't talk to you before then. Um, hope everyone has a very, um, great, you know, end of the year here. 
and a, a very healthy and safe one for everybody too. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Happy Homebrew Wednesday slash Thursday and talk to you later. Cheers. Take care. Have a good night. It's a real nice one, Dennis, man. I look forward to trying these side by side. See you guys. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to mention. Uh, beer mails are out. Um, so for Wally and Gary, they know to look for those. Uh, just to make sure you guys got your collaboration beers. Um, sorry for the delay. It's been, you know, just one thing after another. But now, you know, we'll have them for the holidays. And I would look forward to trying the pumpkin cream ale with Wally side by side with his version. Because I got his in today, actually. So thank you, Wally, for your care package. And um, Gary sent me his care package. Um, I believe it was last week. So I have all of his, and he'll have mine soon. So I look forward to trying our Marzen side by side. Um, yeah, so it should be it should be a good uh, good time here, and we'll see how everything turned out. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.